Good morning. This feels really right, but it looks really wrong. Let me go and get dressed. Okay, better. Good morning and welcome to my what I eat in a day video. The first thing I do every morning is drink some water and make a coffee. So that is where we're at. Now I really wanted to film one of these today because I'm actually starting to clear out my freezer and clear out my fridge, ready to move. My lease is up here soon and I wanna be able to eat pretty much everything that's in the freezer before I leave. And I thought that would make a really interesting what I eat in a day. I have not done a big food shop, like a main food shop in maybe a month. I've obviously grabbed little bits and bobs here and there, but we're gonna make do with what's in the fridge and it's gonna be a ride. But with any video like this, I think it is important to say I don't eat like this every single day. This is a what I eat today. And if these videos hurt you or upset you in any way, then I have so many other videos on my channel that you will probably enjoy more. Shall we make some breakfast? I feel like the theme of today is going to be let's start at the freezer and work from there because this is what I need to get rid of. Now, you know what I really could eat? Some acai, but I don't have any fruit to blend into it and I don't have any peanut butter to put on top, but I need to use it. So let's do one of those. I actually don't think I have any frozen fruit at all. I have frozen veg, but I can't really blend peas and sweet corn into acai, can I? I feel like it's only fair for me to show you my fridge so you can see what we're working with today. And my freezer, I guess. Let's start with the freezer. Before I do this, I would just like to say this is a judgment-free zone. Do not judge me on what I have in my fridge and my freezer, okay? We're on the rundown, I eat random things. It's okay, we're an ingredients household here. Okay, so top drawer, I have this Waitrose pizza. And I'm gonna try and save this because this is a really easy meal. I have some Itsu pork gyoza some itsu beef gyoza, some chopped garlic, some peas and sweet corn, some Linda McCartney sausages, and a Linda McCartney mozzarella burger. I didn't actually like that very much. Moving down, I have some frozen M&S party food. I was saving this to eat around the festive season and just never had the opportunity. So I had some chicken Kievs, I had some of the chicken tikka naans, and these little Yorkshire puddings. I feel like they're a really easy one to eat up. That can be like a lunch one day. And finally, I have the acai, I've got some frozen sourdough and then this got delivered by mistake one time in my Ocado order and it's kind of just always been in here. I've tried it, but I'm not the biggest fan. And the fridge. So I feel like you can tell a lot about a person from their fridge. So we're gonna start in the door. So I've got my sourdough starter, which look at that hooch. It's, yeah, I need to pour that off. I've got some oat milk. I've got some sriracha, some ketchup, and then up here, some cranberry sauce, yogurt, butter, some baby bells. This is what I love to snack on. I've got some homemade beef broth, my water jug. I've then got some peeled garlic because clearly I forgot I had frozen garlic, some Burford Browns. In here, I've got some sausages and some bacon that need using up probably today. I then have some Joe and the Juice sandwiches. This is what I tend to have for lunch. So there you go, now you know. I've got some beef fat that I rendered when I made my broth a lemon and an onion. And that is everything in my fridge. And then I guess finally, I should probably show you my cupboard. So again, we need to use up as much of this as possible, but I'll show you around here more later. Let's get started on breakfast. I am such a breakfast girly. If I could just eat one meal all day, every day, it would be breakfast. And you're probably gonna see that today. We're probably gonna have some breakfasty vibe like meals throughout the day because I hate lunch. So I almost tend to have breakfast foods for lunch as well. We're supposed to put these aside in some warm water. Okay. So because we have nothing to go with the acai and we have nothing to go on top of the acai, I guess it's gotta be a side for my breakfast. So my go-to breakfast is actually porridge, which is so boring, so I'm not gonna do that today. But what I did think we could do is probably like blend the oats into a flour and make some oat pancakes, which is something I used to make all the time growing up, banana oat pancakes. We don't have any banana, so let's just see what will work. thinking we'll blend the oats we'll add the yogurt as a binder we'll add a little bit of something to make it rise a little bit cook it in some butter and then we've got the fruit on the side and if it's not good we'll throw some topping of whatever i have in the cupboard on top to use it up <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd also like to add that this butter is in fact not Lurpak. This is cream that I had left over that I knew I wasn't gonna eat, so I made it into butter. Is it the most aesthetically pleasing breakfast? Absolutely not. But is it going to taste incredible? We're about to overflow. Absolutely. Yum. Okay. It's really good. Mm. So happy with this. I love anything with yogurt, to be honest. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Let's eat. You know when I said I love to eat breakfast food all times of day? Yeah, we're doing fried egg on toast. I have bacon. All right. Sausages take too long for lunch, but I have some bacon, so we're going to cook that, and we're going to use some of my frozen sourdough. Yay for living alone and having to freeze your bread. <laughs> the best eggs, literally in the world. my breakfast for lunch but what I didn't tell you is that during cooking this my camera fell off and my microphone broke which I didn't realize so this is me telling you it's incredible and you know what watching this I want to eat this all over again it was unbelievable good afternoon I'm about to make a cup of coffee it's 3 p.m. but I thought we would start assessing the dinner situation because I would rather go to the supermarket now if I need anything rather than at like 6 p.m. or 5 30 when everyone's going on their way home from work so I think we need to use the sausages up so I think that's where we're gonna start we have options I mean I ate two eggs at lunch so I can't really do a toad in the hole because I need two eggs for that and I only have one I have some chopped tomatoes. I have garlic. We could do like a ragu, a sausage ragu with pasta. I mean, it does involve opening a whole bag of pasta, but I mean, I don't really want it in a sandwich, so that could work. Yeah, I mean, I have an onion, I have garlic, I have beef broth. I mean, I think that's quite a solid meal, to be honest. And if I do it now, I can let it simmer for a while and the flavors will get even better. I feel like that's a good meal. Please ignore my awful knife choice. I have a limited selection, but I'm going to start by cutting the sausage meat out of the casing. And I'm just gonna break that up. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I have this thing. I love pepper in sausages. I don't know what it is. Just a little bit of salt. And now the sausage is cooked, I'm going to remove it from the pan and just leave all the fat and juices that are left. And with the fat in the remainder of the pan, I'm just going to put half an onion in. I do only have three sausages, so this is almost going to be like a half portion, but it's fine. And I'm just adding in two cloves of garlic. gonna leave that on a low simmer for I mean a couple hours as long as possible I feel that long the longer I leave it the nicer it's going to taste and I have plenty of bone broth so if I need to I can just keep adding more and it will be able to simmer for longer I am so excited for this so it's gonna be so good but what I am gonna do is make myself a coffee and I might I don't know I don't know no I'm gonna have a coffee and then carry on with my work <laughs> just for the sake of literally documenting everything in this video i'm having a baby bell 
I usually snack on baby bells or protein bars, but I'm not in the mood for anything sweet at the moment. Don't know if it's because I had a sweet breakfast and I don't tend to do that. Mm, I've been having a lot of eggs for breakfast. Mm. It's an Emmental one, very good. I've also just realized I forgot to take my collagen, so I'm gonna take that. Mm. Tastes like blackcurrant, but I don't know if it's supposed to. It's 6.30, I'm just back from the gym. I basically got halfway through and then somebody came in and was like, um, yeah, we're using the space. So my session got cut half short, which is fine. But you know, when you're just like, I could move somewhere else and finish, but I'm just a bit jarred now. So I'm just gonna go home and meet my pasta. So I got this pasta from TK Maxx. It was two pounds and 99 pence. It says cooks in 12 minutes. So I'm gonna start heating some water up. But I thought what we might do is make some garlic bread with some of the sourdough I have in the freezer. And like, I don't know. I've got garlic and I've got baby bells. Maybe we could use that. And here is dinner. My garlic bread got a little charred, but it's fine. I'm sure it will taste good. And Oh, this just smells so good. I made sure I did enough pasta to have some for tomorrow as well because I don't know about you, but I think pasta just tastes better the next day. Mmm, so good. Mmm, I love a throw together meal when it works. I mean, I feel like when you live alone, half your meals are throw together meals because you have so many leftovers. I really don't know how I got this so wrong and so burnt. Still cheese pull. So good. Baby bells are so useful. I love it when garlic bread is multi-purpose. It's multifunctional. Sensational. My camera's been flashing low battery that whole time and I was so scared that it was gonna cut off halfway through me eating, <laughs> but it didn't. We made it. I'm going to clear up and then go on an evening walk because I haven't actually left the house today and that's really bad for me. So I'm going to go see the outside world for half an hour and then we're gonna bake some brownies because we need to use that brownie box up and I am very much a need something sweet after something savory girl. So we're gonna do that. I'm back and I had a lovely little stroll to Waitrose because I realized I actually didn't have enough butter to make the brownies. So it's a good thing I went for a walk. I got some La Pack, which this kind of defeats the point of emptying the fridge in the freezer but they will get eaten. I got some raspberries and I got some more yogurt because I see my brownie as like a base and then I like to top onto it. Like I said I love yogurt on anything and yeah I thought I can then eat the raspberries and the honey tomorrow because I have honey left to get rid of. So it works. Let's make some brownies. Oh my goodness you know what I could have gotten whilst I was there and didn't? Another egg. I clearly didn't think that through, did I? I mean, I could do half, oh no. See, there says vegetable oil, water, and one egg is fine, or 80 grams of melted butter. Like, what's the difference? I don't have vegetable oil, maybe I'll just add some more butter. It'll be fine. So if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest box cake cooker, but these Betty Crocker brownies are so good, and I don't know what it is in them that makes them good. Who knows? I'm gonna make it in here, that way I can just put a lid on it and put it in the fridge. And it'll be a super thick, gooey brownie because it's super deep and I kinda love that. The brownies are out and I've let it stand for maybe 10 minutes because I was making some caramel, well, salted caramel sauce. I think brownies without caramel is a sin, so needed some of that. Also for toppings, we have, of course, the raspberries a lotus biscoff and some yogurt and i think i'm just i feel like there has to be one or the other i feel like i can't do both of these unless i do like my brownie cut in half or i could just do like two sides i don't know we'll see <laughs> oh my gosh it's so perfectly gooey a little drizzle of salty cat oh okay a dollop of salty caramel and then i'm going to do a handful of raspberries and this is my dessert. I'm gonna sit on the sofa and eat this whilst I sit and finish off my work for the day. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up and I will see you next week in the next one. Goodbye.